Hello. Oh, we're having some audio issues. It's always good to hear yourself. Good evening. We are we are on the MC12 server that we spun back up last stream. And that is going to drive me crazy. Let's see here. Let's go. My I'm hearing myself. I got an update and everything's broken. There we go. All right, is the volume good, Miss Miss Squirrel? How's the how's the volume on the on the mic? The mic sounds good. All right. Let's try this again. All right. A little, a little background music. There we go. All right. So, uh, like I said, we're on the server here. And uh, we're going to pick back up where we left off. And uh, standing behind the uh, the awesome storage system two three thousand. All right, got my list. All right, so what should we do? So we uh, we toured we toured the. Uh, Let's check up and make sure everything's going okay, because I left the server running like a moron. So, um, things are still looking okay. It's interesting that those are off. Hmm. Maybe a tad too quiet on uh, my mic. I can turn that up a bit. I'm uh, peaking at negative 25. Oh, I got plenty of uh, uranium in there. Cool. We are, we are good to go here. All right. I'm wondering why this isn't working. Oh, probably because not because that's not working. Let's see. Uh, what is it? Alt zero. I don't remember all my key bindings. Let's see what they are. Um, not exactly what I wanted. Uh, let's see what we got. Options, controls. It says P, but I don't think that's right. Mm. Maybe it's Alt E. That is okay. Here we go. I feel like I'm trying to remember how this works. These are flux capac. These are like battery packs that will charge stuff while you're around. Oh, you know what? I think this is 
Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, this is to charge my rechargeable items. Wire, oh, I must be, st okay, so it's wirelessly charging me. Awesome. All right, things are good. I gotta figure out what we're doing here. We may have some uh, visitors from outer space if they decide to jump on. So the sit rep is trying to remember what all this is for. This was that's a power relay. Get some company. This was to make crystals, I believe. To be honest, I don't remember what this was for. It's obviously automation to for something, but I don't remember what. I don't remember. I mean, this grows crystals, so it could be, what does this one do? Vacuum chest, precision dropper. Oh, there, duh, there you go. Oh, the missus is gonna join too. So if you just joined us, we are uh, on the MC12 squirrel pack server that we uh, spun back up after several years of uh, in cold storage. Maybe I should... Oh, she's loading. Um, but anyway, we're uh, playing around on the server here, trying to figure out what we were doing. Uh, however, it was about a year or so ago. So we're just kind of floating around. Hello, how you doing there? Very nice. One of my uh, small squirrels. All right, let's see what we're going. Oh, let's see. Making sure, keeping an eye out on the server here. Making sure we're still cruising. Here's the missus. Where's the missus at? She's running away from me. Aha! Uh -huh. Is it? Hey. Nope, that's... Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Nice! Sporting, uh, sporting a new squirrel skin, I see. Nice. Alright. She must be typing. Or not. Hi there. You're looking fancy today. <laughs> All right. Now that we said hi to the fam, we're going to uh, try to figure out what we're going to do. I don't know if I want to, like, scrap this whole... S I mean, we spent a lot of time. I spent a lot of hours, and so did my son, the goat Jedi. Uh, we spent a lot of time building this. This is, uh, this is all the... Um, I forgot what they call them interfaces what are these these are the oh the molecular assemblers these are the things that can create things uh, each one of these blocks these interfaces can take a pattern and somewhere yeah so like so these things here and the patterns you can create a pattern uh, a crafting pattern and then this will actually uh, create it for you automatically and then if it needs like a bunch of stuff it will uh, 
if it knows how to craft it, it will craft it. Okay, that's just terrifying. That's just weird. All right. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to start from scratch or should I just re-remember uh, everything that we were doing. Um, so, I mean, we have a we have the base. This is like the base reactor. We This is like maxed out. We got plenty of power to power the... Uh, the power of the, uh, the the storage system and the uh, the replication system here. And if I remember correctly, oh yeah, here encoded patterns. Yeah, it's like I have a bunch of encoded patterns there. I must have been rebuilding stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, this is probably from the. Uh, I think with an ME system, if I remember correctly, uh, the cards, these things here, are the storage cells, can only store, like, well, it says there, 63 types. So the problem with storing, like, books and stuff is you would actually fill up pretty quickly. Um, so I think that's why I was doing something this, like, something like this. And what I was doing was I was just dumping them on here. I think, oh, look at here. This is actually connected. You know what I was doing. This is a storage bus. Ah, that's what I was doing. So it looks like I was using storage drawers, which this is a, this is another one of, one of my favorite mods, early game, uh, real cheap to build. You can actually store uh, a lot of s different stuff. So it looks like I have a lot of different type of books. Uh, let's see. Uh, books. I don't have... Usually it tells me what it is. Oh. Yes. I can't remember what that means. But you have to have a key. You can lock all these so you can't take all of them all out but what it looks like well, this is the, con the controller for this for these and then what I think is what's what's happening is if I put it in the storage let's see if this is let's see if this works all right uh, if I remember alt E yes so I have this thing here this wireless terminal this allows me to connect wirelessly to my storage system. That's why I can see everything. I think, uh, see here's the books. I think, I think if, let's find something that has 16 books. Mm, let's see, let's see if I can, I'm thinking what's happening is this actually will pull, because this is a, is this a, that is a, storage bus and I think yes so this this if it's if it matches this uh, these items it will actually pull them out of the storage and will actually store them here so instead of storing them down there they'll actually be stored here so let's see here so we have 15 uh, what is this let's do this All right, I took I took two out of there. So if I go down here, let's learn together. So if I go down here into the storage system, and I go put these three in here. Uh, let's you know what before I do that. Let's make sure. I'll tell you what, flying is so awesome. Um, what is that? Simply jetpacks, awesome mod. Uh yes, and it's pa it's powered by FP or RF energy, which is awesome. All right, so all right, so seventy uh, whatever I have in my hand, limestone. 
All right, so there's 70 limestone. If I go in here to try to put it into the system, put it in. Bloop. All right, it's in the system. Actually, limestone. Ah, look, 73. I bet. I bet ya. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm not. Hmm, wonder if it's broken. Interesting. I bet, I wonder if, is it not? I wonder if something's broken. Insert only bi-directional. So it should put, it should push it in there. All right, let's do this. Limestone. I'm taking them all. I took all the limestone. Okay, so look, there, it is. So it was, it was putting it in there, but I'm not sure why it didn't put it back. Alt E, let's put it all back in there and let's see if it put it back. It did not. So obviously something's broken. It's like, it's like, uh, you know, get, Inheriting an old uh, house, and you got to figure out how everything's work, how everything's working. So who knows? So I don't know if I want to start over or just just kind of relearn. It's like I said, I kind of remember, you know, some small things here and there, but I don't remember everything. I think I can't remember if I looked at the log files to see what the last time it was. Um, you know what? Let's do this. Oh, uh, I think we should relearn. You really want me to re re redo all this? You know how many years, uh, months this took? Or, I, I don't think, we, I mean, this is MC12. I think what we should do, if we're going to start a new one, uh, and maybe a new series would be um, something that I've been wanting to do is a create. Uh, it was in the works. Uh, one, like a create series, but specifically um, a squirrel a squirrel craft edition of it. All right, limestone. Wonder what? Wonder why the limestone is a uh, toggle. Wonder why it didn't go in there. I feel like. Uh, Oh, I don't see limestone here, do you? Well, that's awkward. Well, there's your problem. Let me do my limestone. All right, got my limestone. Now, because that is locked, normally if that wasn't locked, it would uh, it would disappear. It would it would uh, you take the last one, but because it's locked though, it will put that back in there. But I think what all I gotta do is I gotta make sure this is bi-directional. Um, only extractable items will be visible. Yes, that's what I want. And then here, computer your parts and short items. All right, so if I do this, nope, won't let me do that. Uh, might be priority too. Oh, you know what? It could be that I don't have enough. Mm -hmm. So if I say that and I go limestone, I bet it works now. I bet it's because I didn't have, I bet it works now. Alt E, boom, boom. Yep, look at that, it works. So probably what I need to do is I probably need to, I probably need to, uh, I think I can get a, I think I can do a trim piece here. Uh, I can't remember if this has to be on the controller or not, but what I could do is I could just do a loop another, another, uh, face of this and then, uh, I'll have more items, but that's what it is. Yeah, look at all the, that's what it is. All right, figure that out. One thing figured out. Uh, 
All right. So if we continue this, maybe what we'll do is we'll, we'll continue this. Uh, we'll continue this until I can get a, uh, get some uh, more of the mod packs up and updated and up and running. Uh, but it's one taught 20 out now. Let, let all the, uh, everything should, everything should slow down with one, uh, 19 and 118. Uh, a lot of the other packs I had started was 118. So like if you haven't tried one of the 18 series, I have a uh, squirrel pack, uh, AV, which is almost vanilla. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, almost vanilla, almost vanilla plus, which is uh, almost vanilla is literally just mods that don't change the game. It's just stuff that uh, with life improvement mods, basically. And then we have uh, AVP, which is plus, which is kind of the mods. It's like, you know what? I want these in every one of my mod packs. It's like it's the base pack. And then I took that and then I did uh Tech, uh, and that's the telecommunications pack, and that has that's kind of what all of my tech mods are gonna our tech tech mod packs are gonna be based off of. Um, and then I believe, I believe, uh, let's see, is that working? Uh, let's see if that's working. It's not working. Of course it's not working. Why would it work? Why would it work the first time? Because it's it's me, that's why. Because I didn't test it before I There we go. Okay. Alright, so let's uh let's um let's cut over to Cursey Forge here. So on Curse Forge, uh, let's see. So yeah, I'm playing. We're playing this one here, Squirrel Pack MC12. Really awesome mods. I mean, this was my first mod pack. Put a lot of time in it, and Forge mods dot one dot twelve is totally different from uh, one. What is it? One sixteen and up. I mean, like config files are all different places, and so it's. Uh, but this is this is my favorite because it's all it has all the the really cool the little cool mods like um, where is it at? All of the. Where are they? Th all the thermal, all the thermal mods. They're awesome. Thermal's awesome. I love thermal. Um, yeah, so actually, mm, a little peek behind the curtain here. Uh, anything that doesn't have a, uh, a, um, a, a background is actually my, uh, R&D, uh, where I do some research and development and I actually create the packs. And then when I publish them, they get published off of this. And then they, and then I'll have this here. This is the, this is, uh, oh, this is the just mechanism pack. Uh, did that for my son. He wanted, he just wanted uh, mechanism. So maybe we'll do that. That'll be a fun one. Um, yeah. The oh yeah, the Just series. Yeah. That that would be a f that would be a fun one to do. Yeah. Wonder if. Uh, wonder if. Uh, nope, I don't have it up here. Again. You would think uh, I would test these things. Why well, would I test something, huh? Let's see. Where is Firefox? Where's Firefox? See if we can bring up. Uh, Uh, maybe. And come on, Firefox, show up on my screen. 
Firefox isn't working. I need a producer. I need somebody that can like run everything. Still not showing up. Well, give it give it one more second. Let's see if this works. There, up oh, there, it's gonna work now. That's because there we go. Now that should work. Are you seeing seeing it now? There it goes. Nope. Let's see. This is not where I want to go. That's where I want to go. Let's see here. Let's. I don't like their new website. Just saying. I don't know. New, old. It looks darker. Mod packs. Alright, so here we go. Let's do this. We'll do a quick uh, mod pack look around here. Maybe. There it goes. All right, so the, here's the mod packs I currently have out. Uh, first one, this one here. Uh, I did have a MC16 and an MC17. Um, so yeah. So I don't see it. Yeah, it might be better just to search it for here because you have the pretty colors. There we go. So yeah, so MC16. Um, Creative Adventures. I th This, I believe... Well, hey, there we go. Let's just read it. Medium tech pack. Focus around main mods. Create. Okay, so I did have a create. It, yeah, so this would be a good one to do. This is off of M6, uh, 116. This had immersive engineering... Uh, Kind of an old school, old factory kind of thing mod. Um, that was a f uh, creative adventure. Although I think, if I remember correctly, there was a there's a hidden thing. We actually have dragons, right? There's like a twist here. Um, let's look. Let's look at. Uh, let's see. Change log. I guess I have to install it, huh? see the mods all right why not so yeah so create create creative adventure so yeah it was it was create a bunch of a uh, couple other like industrial mods and then the adventure part is there's dragons yeah there's dragons that's what you need you need some dragons uh the other one was 17 so 17 was a 17 was a uh, an attempt to do for 117 and it's fabulous squirrels and that's because it was but it was made on a fabric so there was a lot of uh, not a whole lot of mods uh, when I was doing this one so you know it's fabric it was my first fabric mod pack uh, so we did that one so then we started uh, we started the AV yeah, so we started the 118 series, and that was almost vanilla. Yeah, so almost vanilla. Little little ice cream. Make, make sure make sure you want some ice cream, huh? So basically, it's just Minecraft, but with some uh, helping mods. Doesn't change the game. Then I built upon that and put uh, what we did here. Where is it? Yeah, AVP. So almost vanilla plus, and this was some. Apparently, I don't have it installed. 
that was basically some mods uh, that I want in every mod pack. I think I said that before. And then we went, I built upon that and made hack. So this was telecommunications. That was basically what I'll build all of my tech mods off of. So this is a good, this would be my base tech pack on 118. And the idea would be to, re if I do a 119 version of this, I would try to use the same mods. Or if there's not a mod that's not it's there anymore, I would use, uh, I would use something that's similar. Because um, you know, mods, especially one, older mods that are not kept up to date. Somebody either forks the, forks it or like, oh, I'll just create my own. It looks like I already had that one. So, yeah, so the tech, that was a good one. Let's see, here we have, uh, it's not showing the, usually it shows the mo what mods are on here. That's in interesting that it's not doing that. It usually will tell you what mods. Oh, you know what? Because I'm, I'm a moron. Let's try this. Let's go back to mod. There we go. Now, now we're now we're cooking. So yeah, for creative adventure mods. Uh, advanced finders. Oh yeah, castle dungeons. Well, you know. Yeah, some fun stuff. Yeah, <laughs> some unicorns. And I uh, and this is uh this is a cool mod. Vi village spawn point. I mean, how realistic now? Like Minecraft is realistic is you just dropped off in the middle of nowhere, right? Not unless you, you know, parachuted out of a plane. You're usually going to start somewhere in civilization. So this kind of, you know, spawn point, you're going to be in civilization. It makes it a little easier to start. Um, although I try to, when I when I play play with uh, with that, I, we have an unspoken rule that don't you can't pillage the, the village. Don't pillage. Don't be a pillager. Just don't. Ouch. So, yeah. So, that's MC16. MC16. What else do we got? Um, fabulous squirrels. Yeah. So, here we got... Not, so, it's like 75 mods. So, it's not much. Um, what do we got? Mostly... Oh, okay. So, you have waystones. Um, I know what I'm doing. That's just disables pop-ups there mod menu uh red some redstone stuff just some fun stuff here alloy, alloy forgery i'm not sure what that uh, oh basic uh those are good ones better mending so yeah it's just uh charm that was a good one that that does a lot of so that's a good it's a cool little little mod my favorite still mc12 out of that one um but the tech one where is this at yeah so here so we've got uh let's see what makes it tech oh cc tweaked which i really wish they would do uh someone would reinvent uh open computers maybe they have it's been a while since i've been looking uh what else is there construction wand Dungeon crawl. See, look. Let's look for the. Let's look for. Let's look for the techie stuff. Uh, this. Oh, they also have a currency. So I don't know if uh, if you wanted to do like a. You can create basically a, a currency system if you have if you run your own server. So you get basically coins. You can create your own coins and stuff like that, which I believe I I do a little bit. I, I do a, I do customize some of the mods uh, to make stuff uh, as fair. Uh, drippy load screen that makes all the loading screens awesome. Uh, let's see what else we got. I'm trying to look for. 
for uh, tech stuff. Laser IO. Oh, that's a dire wolf mod. That's fun. What else we got here? Measurements. Realistic bees. Uh, I like that. They make bees smaller. Uh, here we go. Redstone pen. Redstone pen. Refined storage. So like refined. I love very refined storage, and I figure it's supposed to, it should be in all of my tech mods. So that's why it's there. Simple voice chat is in pretty much all of it. So make it easier to chat with uh, the fam when they're on so I don't have to yell across the the hallway. Uh, what else is there? The graveyard. That's fun little thing. Oh, tinkers. Love tinkers. Tiny gates. Here, yeah, here's all the, like, the redstone stuff. Oh, and then a uh, Tom Simple Storage. That's a fun... That's like an easy, quick, down and dirty storage mod. It's like early game. I'll, I'll definitely would use that until you can get into uh, refined storage. But yeah, all right, tech. But anyway, I took tech and then I built uh, just mechanism. So I believe, so this one, it looks like we started with AVP. And I think it's a because I didn't want too many uh, tech stuff. So basically it's the just series. And so they all start with, I don't know if you figured there's squ squirrel pack and then there's some three letters or two letters. This is JMK. So this is just mechanism. So it looks like uh, we started with AVP and then we basically added mechanism. Uh, specifically, I believe it's just all the mechanism-ish. Yeah, mechanism. Maybe we'll play that one. That'd be maybe that'd be kind of fun. But I had had plans of doing a whole like this whole big tree of different mod packs, and it's like I don't know if it's going to happen. Uh, with 120 out, I might. Um, there was one that I don't see here. It was supposed to be sci, science and industry. Um, I don't think that one's on there. I just realized my window hasn't been working. Sorry about that. Oopsie. Let's try that again. I was over here on, uh, I was here on Curse Forge just going popping around and here I didn't even notice it wasn't, was it on? Well, that's a bummer. Just to pretend in your mind that I was showing you all these fun things. How embarrassing. What a noob. So yeah, here's a squirrel packs. But anyway, actually, where is that? Let's go to this one here. Let's see. I need to update this. I got a few other things here. I need to get my PR person to update all this fun stuff. Let's see. Source code. Let's see. Does this show? No, it doesn't. Well, that's a bummer. All right. Well, enough of that. Let's get back. Uh, Let's get back to the Minecraft. Let's do some more Minecrafting. So I think what we'll do, we'll 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 keep this uh we'll keep we'll do some streams of this, try to figure this one out until I get some uh I would love to get maybe uh maybe the the create one. I think it's just create or uh or some kind of mix of it maybe i'll do a maybe i'll start looking at uh 120 
I don't know. What do you think? If you're watching this on YouTube, make a comment. What are you thinking? What should I do? I need I need choices. I need I need direction in my life. Oh, speaking of direction. There's a squirrel. All right. So let's go uh let's start looking about the looking around here. I'm trying to think how many hours. Wait, doesn't this tell you how many hours? Oh, where is it? Where is it that you can see how many hours you've played? Statistics. Does it tell you how many, let's see, games quit, 206. Distance. I've walked a few miles. Jumps. Turn cranks. Items extracted from storage. Apparently, I have added more than I have extracted. I've slept 126 times. No wonder I'm ti not tired. Uh, let's see, what else? Items. I've killed 18 creepers. I have never been killed by a creeper. That's a, there's, there's a fun fact. Sneak time. Seven day. Are these Minecraft days? Time played. Ten days. Is that in, like, actual hours or Minecraft hours? Is it actual 10 days? I'm hearing, I'm hearing in my e other ear it's actual 10 days. So I've really, I've only played this for 10 days. Well, I guess, well, I guess if you do that, well, so it's 10, 24 hours. So that's actually, that's a lot more a lot more uh, that's a few uh, 10 days that is uh, I can't math oh obviously 240 hours so if, even if I played like you know, eight hours a day. So if I played for eight hours a day, that would be, wow, that's like 30 days. So it's actually probably over two months worth of work. That's a lot. Yeah, I don't want to start over. Cause I think we have a, a good foundation. I just got to remember how to do, do stuff. I got to get the goat Jedi back over here because I know he was t he was doing a lot of uh, he was doing some work with uh, actually additions and some d other things. I think that's his whatever that is. I gave you goat milk. Yes, you did. Thank you. I guess I got milk. All right, so somewhere, I think that oh, Ender IO that he was building. He built all that to make these things. So yeah, it's all coming back to me now. So yeah, here's what we were doing. Um, let's try that again. So yeah, so these capacitor banks, they are awesome. So what I did was I put. So the capacitor bank's a big battery, and then these these actually sit inside there, and they will, on one side, they'll receive power, so they'll charge, and then the other side, I think they'll, they'll actually um, put power in. So as you can see, we're inputting 33,000, and we're outputting 33. That's because the computer is managing the output and input. So what we're doing here, is if the reactor would to shut down 
So let's try this. Let's see if what happens if I shut it down. I shut it down. You should see. Oh, did it turn it back on? Whatever. Did it turn it back on? No. All right. So what you should see now. It's the same. You should see that actually. Output input. It's probably these things are. I don't know if those are actually draining or not. The idea is these are backups. Yeah, in and out, 1625 per tick, plus 20. Okay, yeah. These are feeding this. So what happens is if something happens and we run out of power, these will, these are, uh, this is basically my big UPS. Yeah, it actually kind of looks like a UPS. So you have a big uh, bar shows me that these are kind of like if this is all the way empty I would assume these are probably discharging I don't see any of them discharging yeah these things cryo stabilized flux ducts these don't carry power but they carry a lot of power I think infinite I don't see I don't, I'm assuming this is turned off. Well, you know what? It might, is it still? Oh, this has, sorry. So this, that's why we're not seeing any change. This has internal, an internal battery as well. So yeah, as you, yeah, so it's being, so this has a battery in it. And then you have this whole big battery pack. Let's leave it off, see what happens. Um, let's go ahead and turn the, turn the reactor computer off. I love I love open computers. I mean, look at that. I mean, where else can you have a mod that? I mean, that looks like an old Sun Sun uh, Solaris server from way back. And I got my hard drive. Got my processor. All right, we're gonna turn it off. I think we have to turn this off first. Exit. Clear. Look at that. I mean, huh? That's pretty cool, huh? All right, we're gonna we're gonna turn that off. Boop. All right, turned off that computer. We don't need any computer to see that this is slowly going down. We'll see what happens. Yep, we've got 12, 11. Yeah, it's slowly going down. Sorry, I got squirreled. I'm like, what's behind door number one? Oh, it's. I don't know what this is. Oh. Look at this. Got some. Uh, do a little mining. This is Minecraft, right? I think this was under. Is this under the reactor? I don't remember. Or maybe it was. I don't remember me things to remember I do I do love this uh, I do love me some ender IO conduits look at look how pretty that looks I mean, come on I mean come on just look at that I mean you want to you want to showcase that off so I'm not sure where this is going this is what is this for um, this is interface in and out. Oh, this is the open computer adapter so I can control it. That's what that is. And this, um, okay. So this is getting, oh, this is probably sending power. This is a power duct that goes up. That's probably, oh, that's probably powering the computer. And then this is the open computer conduit is how that is connected to that. That's what it is. All right. Looks really cool. If you're a developer, Java developer, and you're looking for something to do, make make that for 120. Just saying. Oh, what time is it? Well, apparently, according to my watch, I'm sleeping. 
probably tell him I'm not snooping. All right. So, reactor, reactor computer. Somewhere, ooh, somewhere there is a room where I'm using a mod that you can create dim uh, dimensions. And basically, it's, uh, it's pretty much cheating. And I think you can get to it. Mm, actually, I might be able to get to it. Oh, you gave me a clipboard. Uh, yes, I have a clipboard. Thank you. See, I have a, I'll have a little squirrel if I need anything. Um, I have frame blocks. Let's, uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Alt E. There we go. Put that back. Copper. Yeah. So, let's see. Let's look at my, my little, oh. My little porter. That's not what I wanted to do. There. Dimension room set. Yes. All right. I'm not sure where this is at. Oh. See, it is behind the. Okay. So I can't get there. I have to get here by. Okay, you can only get here by... Alright. Interesting. Machine infuser. So if I remember correctly, this is a... A dimlet workbench. Yes, okay. Oh, this is, this is some fun stuff. I'm not going to get too deep into it, but basically... You basically can create a world. A dimension. Your own dimension. And crafting grid. Oh, it's dead. Should probably get some power in there, huh? Um, uh, refined storage. Controller. Hmm. What is this one? Screen controller, RF tools. Oh, that's for that. Ah, yes. That's what these are for. Reactor. Oh, eh. It's actually showing that our, we're not getting any power from the reactor. And the bank is at 1.4. That's a lot. So yeah, the reactor is offline. Yeah, and the reason, okay, so let me get ahead of myself. So this I'm not sure why that is not on, but here we go. This is a dimension builder. You have to, so let's see, dimension editor. All right, so let's see here. Okay, oh, here, so. Glow, glowstone. Okay, so you can make a world that's that that's like everything but um here okay, let's just let's just show you all right so now if i remember correctly dimensional monitor okay this will tell me how much power so these dimensions are powered and it takes a lot of power. So here's the problem. Look at that. I bet. Yeah. All right. So this is a this is a monitor and what else? I think this is a personal. What is this here? I think this is a personal uh, phase generator. So basically, what happens is if you're. All right. Yeah. Look how much power it takes. All right, so basically, all right, dial to surface one. All right, which I think this is what this is, right? Yep. All right, if I go in here, it's going to, 
it's going to put me in that dimension where it should be nothing but Certus Quartz. Look at this. Yes. <laughs> um, need any, uh, need any quartz? There's quartz for days. So basically what you can do, but here's the problem. If you, it takes a lot of power to create this world and what this, uh, I believe this is a dimension monitor. Okay. So this will tell you how much power is being powered. And then this is a phase fuel. If for some reason it, you run out of power, normally you would die. Um, yeah, you would die and uh, that's that. But this will actually keep you alive enough to get, get you out. So basically, uh, RF tools dimension, activity probe, I believe. Yeah, so then you have to, obviously, you have to, f you have to find your way. You have to have a porter or some way at to teleport you back out. So, uh, but yeah, so this is the quartz dimension. So now let's go back to the, so it's kind of cheaty. It, well, it is and it isn't. It isn't because, or it is in 1.4 gig. It isn't because of the, uh, I'm not sure what that is. I can't remember what this is for. That's the dialing device, so you can dial that. This is the builder. Oh, so the, so that actually maintenance cost. So it, so it costs that much to power it initially, and then there's that much RF per tick to, to, um, to keep it running. So what we're gonna do here we're gonna put this back. Oh, look at that. I kept the manual for uh, light reading. Uh, glow. I wonder if this is glowstone. All right. Oh, look, current power. See, look at, okay, so it, it's, it's not powered up yet. And if you look at, and this is the reason why this is where it is. I'm this, this uh, conduit is coming right off the reactor because it needs so much power. So it says it's infused. Yep, all right, so it's powered up. So now, we should be able to hit this dial up. Uh, glow one. Dial. Now we've dialed it up. Now we should be able to. Oh, yes. Whoa. Well, that's cool. Dirt. Dirt balls. Is there anything in the dirt ball? Nope. All right. We got glowstone though. Glowstone for days. Awesome. But yeah. Look at this. And there's a creeper. So yeah, you get a builder, you can just, yeah. But it takes a lot of power to uh, to uh, keep it up. All right, so yeah, this is, so basically this is a resource gathering room is what this is. I'm going to put this back. Uh, put that back. We're going to turn that off. We're going to take this back out, and we're going to put this back where it, where it went. So if I needed a certain ore or a lot of it, you can build it. Now I think this is where you would build them. So 
So you basically have to build, or is it here? Yeah, so you build it through dimlet controls. And then you will, you would put them together and it creates a grid. And then you take that, you put it over here and it builds the, and then you can power it up over here. Fun stuff. Machine infuser. I think that infuses machine parts. Oh yeah, see it says infused. They just work better. Storage drawers. I need to figure out why this is not, uh, why that isn't. Huh. That's interesting. Probably just use a wrench. Uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> I can't. I gotta remember to turn that off. My uh, my cap flux capacitors are actually charging this energy cell. Oops. There we go. Little ME controller, dimensional shards. Not sure why we I had this, but hey, fix something. So yeah, little dimlet room. All right, let's uh let's go back to the reactor. Let's not go back to the reactor. Let's go back to the that's the atomic reactor. The M1 reactor, that's what we want. There we go. I mean, once you set these these uh, RF tools, matter receivers and stuff, it's the only way to travel long distances. All right, so let's see what we are doing with power. Yeah, here we go, look here. So it is, it's draining these first. So yeah, look at the output, input. So all we got to do is reboot this, uh, turn on the, turn on the pooter. There we go. Reactor back on. Yep. All right. She'll figure it about, figure it all out. Oh yeah, wireless RF battery. That's the thing that's charging all those little uh, RF batteries. Very cool. I think, do I have Alt-E? Oh look, I'm recharged. That is so cool. I just get here and it recharges. It recharges wirelessly. I just kind of stand here and recharge like a Borg. I am Borg. I'm charging. Now, now I got flames out of my butt. Wonder where Mrs. Squirrel's at. Wonder where she's at. Down, up, oh, up. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I wonder. I wonder if she's in the garden. We have a. Oh, is that a cookie? Wait. What? Cookie jar? Why is there paper in the cookie jar? I'm confused. Isn't that supposed to be cookies? I'm very confused. Why is there paper? It's a cookie jar, but there's paper in it. I want cookies. Whoa. Fake cookies. Ah. Oh, that's the worst. 
We should just end the stream right there. Um, oh, sink. Uh, yeah, fake cookies. There's a cookie jar. Fake cookies. I'm not hungry. I should be. Where's all this stuff? Oh, this is, uh... Oh, I'm not sure what all... Oh, this is stuff so she can grind and... Stuffs. Actually, somewhere over here is a... Aha! <laughs> Little trap door. Oh, look here. It's the, uh, the water closet. Oh, there we go. Little, a uh, little refined storage. Got a little con storage controller. Got a little wireless. Is that a wireless? No, it's a simple cell power. Is it wireless? Oh yeah. Nice. Got some wired power, wireless power. Little, little storage disk. This is this is some of my favorite stuff right there. My son wanted to go all crazy, and that's why he wanted the, what is it called, uh, an AE or A2 or AE2. Anyway, I was trying, oh, see, I got squirreled. I'm finding Mrs. Squirrel. Is she down in the farm? Our underground farm here? Oh, it's like we're growing a lot of mushrooms. Oh, cookie. Um, that's a shame. I'm not hungry. The farm is broken. I have to redo it again. Ah, uh, that's the worst. What is that? Chicken egg thrower. Oh, uh, it's like this is like the this is like the dungeon. Huh. All right. Oh, fun times. Hey, actual cookies in the cookie jar. Oh, look at that. It actually... Okay, see, that that makes me happy. I'll take one. I need to, like, uh... I need to, like, do something so I can eat. Let's go outside. Oh, of course it's... Of course it's getting dark. Um, how do I... Oh, that'll work. Uh oh, my 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 engine's off. Hey, I'll be able to eat a cookie. Oh, eaten mm, yum, cookie yummy. There we go. Let's turn that backpack. Let's turn the jetpack on. Oh yes, yes. What do we got up here? I keep forgetting. Uh, we keep. Oh my gosh. Oh, looks like uh, we found a, found a squirrel nest. So these these are for the extra utilities uh, wireless power. You need uh, you need solar panels. Oh geez, reindeer. Santa's coming early, folks. Um, so yeah, grid power 34. Yeah, I can't remember what I was using that for. But yeah, it's our solar panel. See, we're green here at the uh, Squirrel HQ. We use all f all sorts of power. We've got a little uh, little reactor. We got a little solar. We're we're, we're in everything. Uh, here, I'm not sure what that is. But this, this what? Oh, this looks Ender IO. Hmm. 
This looks like something my son was working on. Oh, things are happening. Oh, spawns a witch. No, thank you. This used to be... I think this used to be a killing chamber of sorts. Oh, yes, here. Thermal, what's in, what's in the tank? Oh, so... Mm, yeah, I don't know what was going on. Yes, it was, I'm told. Alright. This... Oh, yeah. Here's my tree farm. No, wait. Where's my tree farm? Oh, this is the tree farm. When I, okay, so yeah, if I need some wood here, this is like an automated tree farm. I think it's full. Yeah, I think I got some birch. Yeah. Let's go down into the, the cellar. Got some wireless power. Got... What do we got here? Um, oh yeah, plant sower. It's pulling out that and it's probably... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna need wood anytime soon. So yeah, this would plant them, then they grow, and then it harvests, and then it throws all the wood. And these, in here. I don't think we're going to need wood anytime soon. See, look, here, I bet if we take some of it out. Alt, uh, Alt E, let's do, uh, uh, how do I open my backpack? I forgot. Zero. Alt zero. Alt zero. Let's put my expensive tools in my backpack. all coming back to me now. See, I kept, uh, I don't think I need some of that. Oh, got some, too many chicken feathers. Sounds like a problem. Alright, so now that I have that, I can probably get rid of some of this. Let's see here. Let's see. I think we got some trees in the system. Uh, no chickens, please. Yeah, so look, so see how it, uh, there you go, cutting down the, cut down the trees. Somewhere I think has, uh, is this one? There you go, see? That's working. What is that? Alright. That's fun. Yeah, see? That's working just perfect. Ten more minutes. We'll call this. Uh, we'll call this an episode. But before we do that, we're gonna go back into Mesa. One. So yeah. So this is like Mesa One. We're kind of going for like a New Mexico themed uh, 
this is this is, this is uh, Mesa One, where the react reactor's right underneath us. Go down. Mm -hmm. Love elevator mod. So you got the power, got the computer to run the power, you got all of our storage. Now then this is where I gotta figure out, I think the next stream we're gonna figure out, we'll figure out this. So we should have, so that one actually does. So this is using two channels. This is not using any. This is, oh, oh, there's no, ah, so you have to create a singularity. It's like this whole thing. So this is connected to, I want to say this one, I think. Let's find out. Yes. Okay. So this is the other side of that. Oh. Of the singularity. So this should. Okay. Two channels. There we go. Two channel. Oh, now I remember. It's coming back. I need power. I've got to actually. I've got to send power one way. All right, this is an unlinked device. That is unlinked. Yeah. And I don't remember P2P tunnel. I think it allows you to do multiplexing, if I remember correctly. I don't remember how it works. And I think the reason why this isn't working is this is not correct. It says it's unlinked. And I don't remember how to link it back up. Um, I feel like it would be... This is where I'm going to need to like... I don't remember, but yeah, this has to be somehow connected. I'll have to do some research on that or let me know in the comments. Yes. Yes. I think it's, that's why. So yeah, these, these are the two channels I'm seeing coming out of the, of here. One of them I thought was power. Oh, one of them's, yes. I think it's, yeah, they've got to be, and I don't remember, there's a tool to do it. Um, I don't remember what the tool is. It's not Ender IO. Not open computers. RF tools. Ender IO. Thermal. Huh. That's RF tools. Wait. Isn't there... Well, that's one way to do it. Pop it off. That's uh, Ender IO ME conduit going somewhere. I don't know where this is going. Oh, this is going under under there or up. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll have to figure that one out. But if I remember correctly, this should power this station to give us access to our storage system. And I don't remember why. I don't remember what. I don't remember why we did. It says device is online, but it's unlinked. This is offline. I feel like. Maybe I wasn't. Maybe I didn't finish what I was doing. But this has power. For the most part. Yeah. But this was supposed to be. scary place. That is what that is. Hello? There. Oh, you know what? This is, this is what this is for. This is supposed to be, this is supposed to be nuclear power. That's what this is for. Because we started, we started uh, the process of creating to automate vision fuel rods. But here's the problem. I don't know if you can see the P, E, R, E, and V in the upper right, upper left hand, uh, the screen. Uh, you get, you can start, uh, you can start having issues. You can have it, you can start having issues with uh, radiation poisoning. Yeah. So yeah, this is, w okay, so this was, this was gonna be this huge reactor to generate like just stupid amounts of power and we were gonna send that power back out through this. Yes, here is the ME conduit, I'm fairly certain that connects, yeah, there it is right there. So that would feed power to everything. Oh, look at that. Bunch of ore stuff. Oh, you know what? That would be, f that. this would be fun to test the, um, the ore crusher thing. Uh oh. That didn't look good. It's never good to be burnt up like a crisp. Alright, so yeah, let's go look at, let's get all these ores. And let's see what happens. So let's do the only way to fly. Nope. Try that again. Zoop. There we go. All right. Oh, there's the missus. Um, why are you using a furnace? You know, there's like machines to like do that in 30 seconds. She's old fashioned. So I like her. I can't. <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember how to do this anything either. That's why I'm getting ready to try to this. This is gonna be fun. All right, so ore export grinder, grind and smelt, grind and smelts. Wait, me import. I remember how to use this. Ore export. Oh, that exports the ores out of the me system. Aha! So let's do that. Oop. Don't take my lunch. Oh, he's my f that's a good song. Kind of like Night Rider. The 80s were good. Anyway. Squirrel. 
So, let's see. Let's uh, we'll spend a few minutes here. Let's try this. All right. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Export pod. This pod fills up from exported ores. Is there anything in here? No. There's nothing in. Oh, there's a few things. So if I turn this on. That should start exporting ores. Oh, look at that. Oh, so it's exporting them. Oh yeah, look. Okay, look, so these are export buses. Gotcha. Oh, and that, this white line, that's what this is. White, sweet. Okay, so it's, I'm using Ender IO, redstone, and that's why. So these are then activating these because it's on redstone. So now this should be exporting all of the ores out of the ME system. And then they should actually get sucked up out of, yeah, see the white here? This extract. And we're extracting and we're probably sending them to here, crush and smelt. And then I believe there are certain things that can only be smelted or crushed. Yeah, see the little, oh yeah, it's all coming back. It's all coming back to me. So purple, okay, so yeah, so this is getting everything ready. Yeah, crush and smelt only. So they get put here, I think. All right, so now what we're gonna have to do, so stuff that only needs to get smelted comes in here. Is there anything like that? Nope, what do we got here? Oh, there's all the ores right there. All right, cool. So now, I think if I do the ore, crush ore, Now, this will grind only. Oh, listen to the grinding. Up. Oh. Black quartz. That makes sense because there's only certain stuff that will. Oh, yeah. Cool. Only stuff that needs to be grind. All right, so then grind. Grind and smelt. Boom. So that is grinding. And then, ah, see, now it's putting all the heat, and then this is probably smelting it. But it looks like the smelter's not on yet. Yeah. Oh, look. Grind and smelt grinder. Grind and smelt grinder smelter. Oh, so it looks like I have them. So this is just going to grind it. Hey there. Oh, you need to cook stuff. You have a cooker in the kitchen. Remember? What in the world? You don't remember? No? Come, come hither. Uh, where's the kitchen at? Here. Furnace! Right here. Super cooker. Don't think this one does anything, does it? Oh yeah, it'll put it in your storage system. Here. Do you have a, uh, you have something that you want me to cook? Here. Here's some raw chicken. Hey, 
and then that will put it in the system. See, we have a 20, 20, 43 system in here. Yeah, see? Remember now? You remember now? Uh, I don't know if you're, are you yesing or knowing? <laughs> looks like your, looks like your head's like vibrating. There you go. Yeah, rem yeah. So remember, you can put stuff in here, and it'll put it in the little me, the kitchen me system, or the kitchen. Uh, yeah, that system. Yeah, I decked out her. I made sure she had a, a super automated kitch kitchen. Ow! I just kicked my pinky. All right. So let's see. Let's go back to where I was. We got squirreled again. I got squirreled by a squirrel. All right. So. Now, let's go back over here. A reusable morb. Why is there a, why do I have a morb? All right, so now this one should be, oh yeah, look at here, pulverized. So it's, uh, hey, so it's pulverizing everything. And now, this bad boy will smelt it. Not sure what to say about that. Uh oh. Ooh. What? What are you doing? Look into those blue eyes. Whoa, went right through them. Alright, so now if you look at the smelt, it's smelting stuff. And I think it goes into, I'm not sure where it goes. Maybe the export or the import pod. Maybe that's where it goes. Ah, look at that. Look at all the fresh, freshly minted gold and copper. And then, so basically the idea is if I go on a, uh, a mining expedition and I can throw all, I just throw all my ore, everything in the system, and then I can, come over here and then turn this on and this would actually make it all automated so if I just turn this on and then it will just crunch through can you have your more back oh that's yours yeah look at all that yummy yummy stuff and then all I got to do here is go click And then, uh, hey, look, everything's getting sucked into the system. So as far as storage, I think we have plenty of storage. Now, these actually show... Yeah, so these are full. Green is... There's some stuff in there, but as you can see, we've got plenty of spaces for more drives. So it's like not even a thing I believe um, oh what am I doing that for dope at uh, we can do what do they call them storage cells so let's do cell they have 256k I think that's like Holy moly. Yeah, look at that. Four. Oh my. Oh yeah, so like, that's kind of dumb though. We'll fill them up with these. What do we need for those? We need, we need a 4K and that takes that. But actually if I just do, and do sell, I can actually craft them. See if it'll let me do one. Do I have enough? Yeah, look, look at that. Oh, to craft. So it's actually gonna craft these. Oh, let's see if it'll do it. Let's see, start. Oh, I wonder if it's, is it this one that's doing it? 
Hmm. Where it's going to create the. Hmm. Well, this isn't going to, this ain't going to work anything. I have a feeling these should be powered. Oh, oh, this only powers it. Oh, that's why I don't want these. These things will suck power all the time and I don't need it. So basically, if it needs to do something, it will drop an item here, which turns this on, which powers that, which lets the power flows and then it'll drop down the crystals. That's why. It's just a way of power regulation. It'll drop a item here. It takes, what, five minutes for an item to despawn. So this is on for five minutes. That'll charge the batteries. That is awesome. See, it's all coming back. Oh, don't look at it. All right, well, I think we're going to call it an evening or a day or a night or whenever you're watching it. I think we're going to probably do another stream to take a look and see what see what's what see what I can remember come up with a plan see look at here let's see nope that's oh that's my we got a little checklist we'll make a little checkbox of things to do but uh, I think we're gonna call it here I uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, if you haven't uh, tried my packs, please download them. Let me know what you think. Hit me up on the socials. Uh, you'll find me. Uh, we will talk at you later at another time. I will see you later. If I, uh, yeah.